I had a cocaine problem in my, in my teens. And I should say, by the way, that I haven't done coke in like a decade. But if anyone has any. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, but if, if anyone has, uh, has had a coke problem and then got over it, there'll definitely be people here tonight. Um, people always talk to me after shows and stuff. And it's a really weird place to be in your life because I'm 30. And like Coke is around, I encounter Coke, especially in this industry, like Coke is around and people are very cash about it because they don't know that I've had a, an issue with it. So um, they come up to you at a party and they're like, oh, just to let you know, there's some Coke on the way. It's like 20 minutes away. We just ordered some Coke. Guys, it is like someone saying to you, just to let you know, we just invited your ex to the party, the love of your life. <laughs> who you haven't seen in like a decade. She's like 20 minutes away. That's cool, right? And you're like, oh my God, yeah. You're like, yeah, it's her right to come to the party. I'm not gonna prevent her from coming to the party. And they're like, cool, we're just gonna do her in front of you. <laughs> Is that fine? We're all just gonna do her as a group on the kitchen table in front of you. That's fine, right? And you're like, oh my God, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> But another part of you is like, excuse me, friends. Like, do you remember what she did to me? She took all my money. My family hated her. She's ruined several communities in South America. <laughs> She's an asshole.